Well, good morning, everyone. This is Sunday, September the 17th. It is the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. It is also a healing Sunday for our parish. So think about those who need God's special healing and anointing for healing today. We begin with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison. Collect for the 16th Sunday after Pentecost. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you call your church to witness that in Christ we are reconciled to you. Help us so to proclaim the good news of your love that all who hear it may turn unto you through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And of course, Holy Scripture teaches us that in acts of healing and restoration, that our Lord Jesus Christ and his disciples laid hands upon the sick and anointed them. By so doing, they made known the healing power and presence of God. Let us pray that as we follow our Lord's example, we may also know of his unfailing love. I invite you to take your own moment to lift up those on your heart, in your families, your friends, or fellow parishioners that need God's healing presence in their lives today. And O oh Lord, as we are outwardly anointed by holy oil, May you also anoint us with your Holy Spirit, and of your great mercy forgive us our sins, release us from our suffering, and restore us to wholeness and strength. May you also deliver us from all evil, preserve us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Say it with me. Glory to God. His power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. Amen.